Hey guys, it's me, Brandon, from BKN Picture Productions, and last Tuesday we took a look at the Manassas Battlefields in the Cannons and the Wheat montage. So today, we're going to be going through the process of color correcting and grading your Cinestyle footage inside of Adobe Premiere. Alright guys, so we are now here inside of Adobe Premiere. So let's start off by dragging our footage into the timeline. So. We're going to start off by grading this clip, so let's slam that baby down there into the timeline. And to start off with, we're going to create a new adjustment layer. So right click here down in the project, say new item, adjustment layer. Okay, and we'll call this uh, color. So let's take this and drag it on top of our, uh, our footage. So the first effect that we are going to add to this is called the Cineon Converter. So let's go into Effects, uh, Video Effects, Utility, Cineon Converter. So let's drag that on top. And it'll start off by really looking like messed up, as you can see. Uh, so let's change the conversion type to Log to Log. And what that will do is it won't change anything with the footage. Alright, so let's take the 10-bit black point, which is uh, like the darkness of the uh, of the shadows, and let's bring this up until we get some some nice contrast. There we go, that looks good. And then the 10-bit white point is how bright the highlights are. So let's take this and bring it down. And we don't want any of it to get blown out, so we'll set this to about 830. There we go. And the gamma, this is looking a little bright, so we're going to bring this down to, let's say, 0.98. Which won't, really, which won't really do that much, but uh, it does make a kind of a little difference. So just play around with it until you get something that looks nice. So, okay, that looks good. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into... Uh, color correction, leave color. So let's take this, drag it on top of our adjustment layer, and color to leave, we're going to select, uh, let's find a part of this clip that doesn't have uh, the weight in it. So, okay, that looks good. So, using the eyedropper tool, we're, we'll, we are going to select uh, a blue that's not really too dark, but that's not really in the highlights either. So, somewhere in the middle, like around there. So what we'll do next is we'll go down here into amount to decolor and we'll bring this up to about 20. So what that's going to do is it's going to desaturate everything except for this blue up here in the sky. Um, and I'll show you why you want to do that here in a second. Uh, we'll bring the edge softness up to 5 just so we don't get any uh, any harsh edges. So now let's go down here into the RGB curves. Actually, no, I take that back. We'll go into the three way color corrector. Take this, drag it on top of our footage. And before we get into any of the color, we're going to go down here into saturation. And we're going to crank the master saturation up to 200, which is the max. And then the midtone saturation up to 200, which again is the max. Okay, I lied. We'll bring the midtone saturation maybe to about 150. Okay, that looks good. Um, all right, so now we can I think start messing around with the color itself. Uh, actually, I'm gonna bring this uh, mid slider here a little over to uh, the right, which means that uh, it'll make the image a little brighter. So there we go. That looks good. Uh, next, we're going to go here into the highlights, and as you can see, uh, most of the highlights here, I mean, you see a little from the reflection on the wheat, but most of it is over here in the sky. So we're going to take this and we're going to drag over to the blue. Let's just find a shade that looks nice, so... I'd say about right there looks good. So what that'll do is it'll... Uh, tint the highlights uh, bluish. Now the midtones, 
as you can see, most midtones here are the wheat. So by taking this and dragging it over to kind of the orangish and the reddish, we're going to add a little more of a golden hue to the midtones. So there we go. That looks nice. And then the shadows are looking a little blue greenish, as you can see here in like some of the uh, darker trees in the background. So by finding the bluish greenish going opposite, that's kind of like a uh, reddish purple. So by dragging it over that way, we'll get some uh, some nice contrast here between the sky and the land. So that looks pretty good. Um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go down here into RGB curves, drag that onto our adjustment layer, and let's bring a little bit of red in here to the midtones. Yeah, like that, just to give it again like a uh, goldish hue. Actually, another something else we can do is bring the green up a little. The midtone area and bring the blue down a little in the midtone area and what that'll do is it'll give it even more of a green of a golden tint so here you can see before here it's kind of like a pinkish purplish and then here it's more goldish yellow actually we can bring even a little more red up that looks good and because we don't want any red in the sky, we're going to take the uh, kind of highlightish area up here and we're just going to drag that down just a fuzz. So that, like, again, it's just like these little things that really make the shot, uh, really make the shot pop. And we'll just make the image a little brighter. Like that, there we go. Um... Okay, so as you can see, we have our before grading and our after grading. So obviously that is a huge difference. Now the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here into blur and sharpen, bring down the uh, sharpen, actually, we're gonna bring down the unsharp mask and drag that on top of the color. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the amount up, it's at 50, we're gonna bring it up to about 60. And what that will do is, here, if we go into full screen, you can see that it's making the edges uh, a lot sharper. Bring the radius up to maybe like three. And then the threshold up to, I guess, about three. So what that'll do is, again, it'll kind of just like uh, sharpen the edges. But if you don't want to go through all that, just uh, there's an easier solution. Just go down here into sharpen, take that drag it over your footage, and then sharpen them out, bring it up to about about 20. Again, you can adjust this how you like it, but I think 30 kind of gives it a little too much grain, and it makes it look a little too much like a video camera, not a film camera. Um, not because of the grain, but just because of like the uh, edges you get on it. And 10, 10's good, but again, I think it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So 20 is kind of a good, uh, kind of a good median there. So that's looking good. Um, yeah, you can see like here in the, uh, here on this one, uh, one wheat stop. I think that's what you call it anyway. Um, you can see there's a lot more contrast. Like here's the before, and then the after. Alright, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, to see the cannons in the wheat video, click on this link or check the description below. Uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and your faces will see my faces on the screen of your choice next time.